Detectives had discovered that he was involved in a series of robberies throughout the valley. And uh, once they discovered uh, his identity, then the detectives went to his residence where he was uh, arrested. Hey, Money Talk fam, today we've got a story that takes us from the dazzling lights of the Super Bowl to unexpected twists. We're talking about the rise and fall of ex-Giants running back, Derek Ward. Derek Ward wasn't just an NFL player. He was a Super Bowl champion. Let's revisit the glory days and celebrate his accomplishments on the field. Before we get into this money drama, Derek played for the Giants from 2004 to 2008, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 2009, and the Houston Texans from 2010 to 2011 before retiring from the NFL in 2012. With the Giants, he was part of a fearsome trio of running backs along with Brandon Jacobs and Ahmad Bradshaw that was nicknamed Earth, Wind, and Fire. He was with the Giants when they beat Tom Brady's undefeated New England Patriots 17-14 in Super Bowls Lee in 2008. However, Ward didn't play in the game because of a broken leg. I was at home cheering and, and just being a fan and, uh, you know, uh, just, just uh, getting a leg right. Um, you know, when you're a kid, you always dream about playing in the Super Bowl and, and uh... Ward's best NFL season was 2008 when he rushed for 1,025 yards on 182 carries with two touchdowns. In 2009, Ward was signed to a four-year, $17 million contract by the Buccaneers. But he was cut the next year and went to work for the Texans. During his 93-game NFL career, Ward had 2,628 rushing yards on 551 attempts and 12 touchdowns. With success comes wealth. Derek Ward earned significant fortunes during his career. We'll break down the numbers, his contracts, and the lifestyle that came with the Super Bowl win. But as they say, not every story has a fairy tale ending. Derek Ward's life took an unexpected turn. Legal issues surfaced, and the once glittering career started to show signs of tarnish. From bad investments to questionable choices, we'll explore how financial decisions played a role in Derek Ward's fall from grace. It's a cautionary tale about the importance of financial literacy. A former NFL star is now suspected of robbing at least five Los Angeles area businesses. 43-year-old Derek Ward was a member of the New York Giants 2008 winning Super Bowl team. But the former running back was taken into police custody on Monday. Investigators say his crime spree began last month, targeting mostly gas stations for cash. From a New York Giants Super Bowl champion running back to a suspected robber, LAPD detectives believe Derek Ward is responsible for robbing at least five businesses in the Valley. Detectives had discovered that he was involved in a series of robberies throughout the Valley. And uh, once they discovered uh, his identity, then the, the detectives went to his residence where he was uh, arrested. Detectives tell us 43-year-old Ward was arrested Monday without incident. They say his crime spree began in mid-November. November 19th is one of the first incidences that we have documented that we believe that he was involved. And then that continued into uh, December. Police say the first business he targeted was a pizza hut. And then after that, the rest were all gas stations, including this AM PM in Studio City in mid-December. He came and like around here, he took one gum, when he opened the register, then he take money and they go. Ward's final alleged heist occurred the night before his arrest, Sunday evening at this Shell station in Studio City. Police tell us, while no weapons were used in any of the crimes, force was. It was generally in the commission of him reaching over uh, cash registers or, or pushing the clerk out of the way. Ward played in the NFL for eight seasons for several teams, including the Giants and the Buccaneers. He grew up in Southern California, where he attended Valley View High in Moreno Valley and briefly played football at Fresno State. It's an unfortunate set of circumstances. Uh, I know that the, the NFL and their union provide a lot of resources for players um, and former players. Detectives say they're still investigating how he fell on ill will and what motivated him to commit these robberies. We didn't find any, any sort of evidence that suggested drugs or gambling at this time. Uh, he just said that he just didn't have any money. Well, that was Mary Beth McDade reporting. Thank you for watching. The recent gas station robbery incident shocked many. 
We'll dive into the details, the aftermath, and the legal consequences Derek Ward now faces. Ward, age 43, was arrested Monday in the North Hollywood area of Los Angeles. He was being held Tuesday on $250,000 bail. At the time of recording this video, he is still locked up and we know he don't have the funds for bail. As we conclude, let's reflect on the highs and lows of Derek Ward's journey. What lessons can we draw from this story and how can we apply them to our own lives? To milk, to the left. Take a step of faith. Pray once this time. On the devil, let's stomp. On temptation, let's stomp. Bible slide real smooth. Now praise and shout. Woo!